I cannot believe it. Video oh, 500. Oh. Videos. That's a lot of videos to be putting out there. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have kept on going. So I completely appreciate each and every one of you. I know I say that every time, but I don't know how else to express my gratitude with for you. 500 videos. Woo! <laughs> yeah, let's keep them going. But today, I'm going to do a deep dive on Nevada. Nevada is getting a little worrisome. And also Arizona. Because there's like poll watchers out there with uh, ammo. I don't know why there isn't a counter people out there. Like our people out there facing the poll watchers with their guns. Why can't we have that? Go in, vote, come out and just stand there with them and watch them. See if they're going to behave, what they're doing, and get all of their information out on, you know, social media. Hmm. What a thought there. Anyways, I wasn't suggesting that at all. No, I wasn't suggesting that. That was, you know, entertainment and purposes only. Okay, so let's do uh, the senator in Nevada who is up for re-election. Um, what her name is Catherine Cortez Masto. Masto? Masto? Uh, anyhow, let's see if she's going to win her race. Going forward, successful public success. She's going to have a hard one. She's going to have a hard one. Um, well, financial security and going forward is, is, is the success. But somewhere, somehow, some way, something is going on where people are either walking away or not voting or doing something. I think they're maybe they're not voting like they should be. So if you live in in Nevada, please get out there. But I think that what she's having a problem with is getting people out to vote. But it says success for her. So let's do her opponent. I'm not going to say the word. I'm not going to say their name. But I am going to give the Republican opponent and see what's going to happen. Oh, Well, interesting enough, I asked if that was gonna hit, they were gonna win their race. And I regret and loss is is what is inside of them, the, the what they feel in there. The fast movement, the betrayal, the liar, the cheater, the stealer. And then going forward is King of Cops, which always represents Democrats for me. So I think the fear, loss, and regret, and the disappointment because of the future Democrat Ace of Swords with well, the future. I'm going on the future Democrat, and here again, here's another problem: people not coming out and voting as well. So the race still looks sketchy, but right now, as the energy goes forth, they can get people out to vote. The Democrat will win. So let's go to Arizona. And I'm just going to give the future energy of Arizona's leadership. And go the, do it that way.
<laughs> the Ace of Cups. Everybody has a lot of anxiety and worry right now in that state, and it's really, really, really getting to everybody. Um, but the priorities and the choices that people have to make and the development of that is that they're at hard work at getting things done and the fast pace. Um, it's moving faster than we think. And then the future of Arizona is still the Ace of Cups. So democratic. Of course, they're being met with conflicts, but they're having new new ways of communication. They're being met with a lot of conflict. Again, good luck, Arizona. Good luck, Nevada. If you live there, get out, get the conversation out. So help people to the polls. Go rent a boss. <laughs> you know, if you can, not, you know, you know what I mean. <sighs> also, I want to shout out to Georgia. They are leaps, you know, breaking records, leaps and bounds over uh, voting. And we all know when voting happens and everybody gets involved, Democrats win races uh, because we have better policies and we're here for the people. And so each and every race, each and every state uh, encourage voting. And I think I think we finally have gotten the message out. I don't know what else we can do to get the message out that the voting in these um, elections are incredibly important. I too am going to sit down and fill out my own ballot tonight. And there's a lot on these ballots. I mean, there's just a lot more, especially if you're in Colorado, uh, take the time to sit down and get all of your people that you want. And then of course on the back, um, don't forget to go to the back, you know, all of the, the you know, like the amendments, the, um, what is it called? I can never think of what it's called. Anyways, a lot of things going across if I could just remember the name of it while I'm on video, that would be fantastic. But not Sheila, not me. Anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. Turn it over. Uh, definitely get your ballot out. Sit down and really look at each and every candidate that's on there. I usually sit and Google as much as I possibly can and try to understand and read uh, what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do. A uh, vote, 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 vote. I know I'm preaching to the choir. But, uh, yeah, good luck, everyone out there, and I will be back. Oh, and the next video is going to be with Adam Free. He's going to tell us how the new moon and, uh, you know, astrology is <laughs> He's going to help us out. So thanks, everyone.